Yesterday, thousands of people filled this beach ready to tackle the try. Today, the weather not as nice and everything's been cleaned up, but 10 years of try are in the books. There wasn't anybody there that didn't have a story. It's, it was overwhelming. As she reflects on yesterday's Try for a Cure, founder Julie Marchese says every year is just as special as the last. Today's the day for me to reflect on what actually happened yesterday, and there were so many things that happened that would just, I, that have had me in tears for the last couple of hours. The day was absolutely perfect. I, I can't imagine a better, a better experience for the women there. Um, the weather was perfect, the goal, the way they just went so far above and beyond our, our greatest hopes. By the end of the day, the event surpassing $2 million raised for the Maine Cancer Foundation. The fundraising is icing on the cake. Why we're there is, is for the, the cause, and everybody is united because of that cause. Each year, another closer to beating cancer and an opportunity to make the event even better. You know, even after 10 years, you know, it's not perfect. Um, there's always things that you can change, uh, things that you can do better. Better. We listen. We listen to the participants, to their supporters, to the volunteers, and, and we find out what they felt like went well and what didn't go so well and what we might do better. The women, overwhelmed by the event's success and thankful to every athlete, volunteer, and supporter along the way. It takes a huge village. It's not one person. It's not two people. It, it is certainly the community that makes it what it is, and so thank you. And it's never too early to start planning for next year. The 11th Try for a Cure already scheduled for July 22nd, 2018. Aaron Dixon, WMTW News 8.